How's it going everyone? Welcome to another Nintendo Switch and Super Smash Brothers Ultimate news update. So, out of nowhere, Nintendo uploaded this 15 minute long trailer on YouTube for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I should just say social media because it was probably added elsewhere too. I just saw it on YouTube. So, basically it was a 15 minute long direct, if you want to call it that, or showcase. They didn't say that, but it was, you know, it's a 15 minute trailer. I don't want to say every trailer is automatically direct, but I think if it's Nintendo and they're announcing a lot of details or, or even reminding us of stuff, you know, and it's like five or six minutes long at least, then I kind of consider it direct. But they're all video feeds. I don't know if this was live streamed, by the way. I just saw it. I didn't even know it was going to happen. I uh, saw people talking about it on Twitter. I was like, oh, okay, I'll check this out. Well, they showed off some new features coming to the game. First, I want to talk about... Joker from the Persona series. I don't want to just say Persona 5 because he was in other games. And then there was a game, Persona game on the 3DS, but I can't remember the title. By the way, I have not played a single Persona game, uh, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So, yeah, I need to do that. Anyway, Joker from Persona is coming to Smash for Others Ultimate. Another thing added, uh, there's going to be a new stage in the game. 11 songs from Persona 3, 4, and 5. Not 11 individual songs, but just 11 all together. We're going to get new Me Fighter costumes. Now, it's going to be Persona, but there's going to be other games too. Like, I saw some Sonic costumes for the Miis. But, yeah, it's not just Persona. There's going to be Sonic and other games. I didn't catch all the games. Another thing added will be characters from Persona and the form of spirits. I don't know about the story mode, but there's, like, two separate spirit modes. Furthermore, Nintendo... Went over a new mode for version 3.0 when it launches. There's going to be a Nintendo Labo VR. I'm just kidding. I wonder how that would work in a game like this. I should really um, stop using Nintendo Labo VR for everything. Anyway, this new mode is Stage Builder. Unlike Brawl, back in 2008 for the Wii, players can actually draw out the stages rather than just, you know, like add walls and add items. I don't remember if Brawl, not Brawl, if Super Smash Brothers for Wii U or 3DS had a Stage Builder. I don't think 3DS version did. I only played the Wii U version a few times. In fact, I didn't really care about the Wii U version that much. I had on my 3DS, it's basically the same game, you know, with a few exceptions. Like I was saying, items and other obstacles were in Brawl. They're going to still be in this game, as expected. I'd be surprised if they weren't. Uh, by the way, Nintendo uploaded a trailer the other day with Stage Builder shown on the menu. So I knew this was coming, I just didn't know it was going to be today. I also want to add that while the Switch is in handheld mode, players are going to be able to draw with their fingers... After it is finished, users will be able to upload them online. You will also be able to use the Nintendo Switch Online app. Uh, I'm not going to... Obviously, there's voice chat. Let's not get into that. But Nintendo actually did some something productive, I think. I use productive loosely because that can mean different things. But I think they, used some, they did something useful. Let's say that. Uh, you are going to be able to watch replays on the app. People can upload them on the app. And I assume... Uh, you could put them on YouTube since during the direct, I'm just going to call it that, it was showing just a random replay, and then on the side of the screen it said streamed via YouTube. So I thought that was interesting, so I'm just assuming you're going to be able to put it on YouTube. Uh, and then you also have the Nintendo Switch capture mode, so you can take screenshots and, and record up to 30 seconds. But in this game, you're going to be able to do more. So something actually useful for the app, something I, for some reason, am... I mean, I'm not really excited for it, but it'll give me a reason to actually want to use the app a little more, or at least at least look at it once, see what it's like. Not only are you going to be able to see videos, but you're going to be able to download and upload. You're going to be able to download other people's levels, the Super Mario Maker route now. Anyway, so you can up, you can download people's levels, and you can also upload your own levels. I should say stages, but you know what I mean. I thought that was pretty cool, too. So not only that, but also... I forgot to mention that the replays can also be made into a compilation. It It's basically, an, it comes with an edit, a free editing software. Yeah, the Nintendo Switch has that. I wouldn't expect anything fancy like Hollywood production either. It's probably basically going to be like a slightly updated version of how you edit videos on your Switch already. Yeah, you can do more than 30 seconds and you're going to be able to like do transitioning effects. But I wouldn't, and, and then text. Uh, I'm sure there's probably going to be a limit to how long the videos can be, but it's... Uh, in the trailer, I saw them putting like four or five. I'm, I think it's going to be more than 30 seconds. Maybe it's up to f 
Maybe it's up to 15 minutes. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, don't expect anything like Hollywood production editors. But aside from that, you could do you could do all the basic things that can be done on a video editor for a computer or phone. But don't expect anything Hollywood. I could be wrong. I'd be really surprised if I was wrong. And I would have uh, mentioned this before uploading replays. I wish I did. But truth is, I'm on. Honestly, I'm really, really tired right now. Trying to get this out of the way because I want to get it up as fast as possible. So I apologize. Now back to Joker. Joker will be available on April 17th for $5.99 and $6.29 Canadian dollars. $5.99. You know what I mean. In addition to DLC purchasing, you will be able to get a Fighters Pack with all the upcoming DLC characters for $24.99 in the US and $31.49 Canadian dollars. The DLC is planned to be released throughout 2018 to February of 2020. However, I think it's very likely we're going to see something after February of 2020. Maybe we won't, but I feel like we're going to get up to 2,000. I don't know if we're going to get, we're not going to get 2,000 characters. We might get up to 75 to, I think we could possibly get close to 80 characters, if not at 80 characters. Um, especially considering how well the game is done. You know, 10 million units, and just after the first three or four weeks, that's astonishing. Not that I thought the game would, wouldn't sell, but it's selling better than I thought. I thought, like, by the time it's like, oh, it'll sell about three or four million. No, it sold 10 million. And that's really good for Super Smash Brothers. And who knows, and this was back in January, I believe, when they talked about it. So that's incredible. Again, this will all be released on April 17th, and I'm looking forward to it. I will link the video down below so you can watch it without me going on. So nonetheless, April 17th can't be here fast enough. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.